Double header for Sunday, the double header for Sunday. It's your boy PVK9 is giving you that dog news we always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Some gonna like it, some ain't. Is this my job to deliver the news? Comment at the bottom if you have a comment. Appreciate all the subscribers. Like I always say, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit that like button before you get up out of here. Hit that notification bell. Set your notification bell to where you know you get the alerts. When I drop the videos, because some of my alerts ain't going out, you know, some of my alerts ain't going out. So make sure you personalize that notification bell. Appreciate you watching the video. Let's get into that dog news. All right, on today's episode of the dog news, we're talking about Triangular Gangs Champion Sable. Triangular Gangs Champion Sable. All right. She's a dog that was born from the breeding of Triangular Gangs Dixie, which was a two-time winner, bred back to Grand Champion Blackjack. Now, Dixie was bred by Mr. Bo Rookie, you know, and she had a slow start in her campaign. You know, she wasn't even rolled until she was three years old, you know, and that was her only role. Now, she was rolled into a much bigger jip. She was rolled into a much bigger jip, and all she can barely do was stay alive, you know, and it only lasted about 15 minutes. But, you know, after, you know, the more she got behind, the matter Dixie got, the more Dixie got behind, the matter she got. And at the end of that 15 minutes, you know, after being down so much, you know, they decided to stop it. But on her courtesy, you know, she came across like a bullet. And, you know, that let, let, that let them folk know that she was, you know, pretty much a dead game dog. Now, after the triangle game took Dixie, you know, to Mr. Crenshaw yard and bred Blackjack to her, you know, that produced a litter with Champion Sable and champion stretch. Now Sable was a three-time winner in the deep south, you know, in all under 26 minutes. And the triangle game knew since she was a young puppy that she was gonna be something special. She was a special jip. She was a special jip, you know. And seeing all this, they knew it was time, you know, time to take her out to start campaigning. Sable was just like a mother, just like a mother. She was scratched like a rocket and had a mouth from hell. She had a hard bite and was scratched like a rocket. It wasn't long before a few good dog men saw her, you know. 
and, and, and her name became heavy in the deep south. Heavy in the deep south. So that made it to the point where she was the dog to beat. Everybody was gunning for her. She was the dog to beat. So the time came and Sable was open up to the world. You know, they opened her up to the world for anybody who wanted some of that action. Two Big Kennel stepped up to the plate. You know, Two Big Kennel stepped up to the plate with their dog Faith. But when it comes to Faith, Sable put her away in 13 minutes. You know, she put her away in 13 minutes. So that's how she got her first. You know, that's how she got her first. Putting Faith away in 13 minutes. Now when it comes to Faith, she was put away in 13 minutes. So that made Sable a one time. That's how she got her first, you know, her first win was off Faith. Was off Faith. And after that, it was on and popping. Mr. Jack Kelly said he loved Sable. Said that was one of the best dogs he ever seen. And, you know, pretty much once she got on the dog, you know, it was pretty much over for him. It was pretty much over for him. Now it was time for number two. And Sable was hooked into FDK's Sweetie at 41 pounds. FDK Sweetie at 41 pounds. And just like Faith, Sweetie went out in 23 minutes though. She went out in 23 minutes, so that made Sable a two-timer. That made her a two-timer. And Triangle Game, you know, start looking for the, the, the champion, the championship uh, hook. And they wanted the best that the South had to offer. You know, they wanted the best that the South had to offer at that time. So, um, Chrome Kennel stepped up with their Lola bitch. Now, Lola was supposed to be the dog that was going to stop uh, Sable. She was supposed to be the one that was going to stop her in the tracks. But just like the previous two, just like the previous two, you know, it was over in a short amount of time. It was over in a short amount of time. Matter of fact, it was only 26 minutes. And that made Sable three-time winner and a champion. She was considered the baddest bitch in the Deep South. Baddest bitch in the Deep South. After her third, Sable was retired and Triangle Gang used her as a brood bitch on the yard, you know. She produced great dogs. She produced um, uh, multiple two-time winners. A whole bunch of great dogs. A whole bunch of great jibs, you know. And people who had uh, blood off of Sable on their yard all claimed they weren't letting them dogs leave their yard. You know, claimed they wasn't letting the dogs off Sable leave their yard because they were so great acting puppies and dogs in the long run. Triangular Gang's champion Sable was a flat out ferocious dog. She was fast as grease lightning and bit like an alligator. Bit like an alligator and she will always be remembered to the dog mans who seen her and consider her the best of her time. Triangular Gang's champion Sable. Just give you a little info on, you know, on some of the history. Some of the old dog history. But just a little quick video, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel. Keep them comments rolling. Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy PBK9 is giving you that dog news the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. And I'm about to hit. Y'all have a good day.